if this thing will actually run. I was told it did by the person who sold me this mower. Owned a small engine shop and someone gave him this, he said, and just wanted to downsize. The, um, as you can see, I, I threw a snowblower tire on the front of it. The tire that was on here was just dry rotted to the point of no return whatsoever. Under the hood, it's got a 12 horsepower Tecumseh. I was actually looking for this to have a Briggs, flathead Briggs. I don't know too much about these motors. Don't know much at all. But it does turn over if you jump it. It's got plenty of oil in it. It's got spark, so. I'm just gonna throw some, you know, squirt some starting fluid in the carburetor and see if this thing actually runs. And if it runs, I'll put some gas in the tank and just see if the carburetor is clean enough to actually you know, be able to drive this thing. I'd like to see if it drives and cuts grass. I got a feeling that this does run and drive since under the chute it's got some probably grass from last year underneath the chute, underneath the, the deck itself. So I'm hoping this thing will actually fire. So now oh, and the seat, this never came with a seat. Now, since I don't care about seats whatsoever, I got this right here. The, on, I'm not going to sell this machine once I'm done. I got other plans for this. But just for testing purposes, I'm just going to use this seat here since I already have it. This actually came off that Cub Cadet LTX 1040 I used to have. Ended up I changed seats on it and just threw this in the junk pile. So I'll throw the seat on. Put some starting fluid in the carburetor and we'll see if we got a runner. Let's try this again. Oh, she tried. She wanted to. to start. What happened if I do that? Looks like I might be out of battery. Well, it's been a little while since I've worked on this thing now. I just decided to I guess, start working on it again, see if I can get this motor running. And I think it's got bad timing in the flywheel. So I, I 
took the shroud cover off. And there was a mouse nest in this, which isn't too terribly surprising for a tractor that's been sitting. So I think I'm going to start, first place I'm going to start checking is this right here. I'm going to take the bolt off and see if it's out of time. I bet it is. at least I'm gonna jump this again see if I can get it running and drive it around a little bit MTD is loaded. I just sold this. The person who wants it doesn't want the deck. So I took the deck off to keep. So I originally paid $25 for it. And I'm ending up I'm selling this for $60. What was wrong with it the entire time was actually the spark plug. Ended up I had a close to brand new auto light spark plug. So I threw that in and that's what the problem was. And then I had to come over here and adjust the carburetor. And just like that, this thing was running, driving, and mowing. Until I took the deck off. The deck is... Over here, this, this deck is in beautiful shape for the age of it. This hardly has surface rust on it. This deck is in amazing shape. Oh, if that wasn't hitting anything underneath. It's gonna need a bearing right there on that side. This one's good. That one's loose. Not too noisy. That one's a little bit noisy. Well, I'll save this for another machine. I'm sure I'll come across an MTD that needs a deck. I also got all the deck mounts off the that one I'm selling. Might need them. Don't know. But certainly, I, I'm going to save this for now. 
and I'll stick it on a different machine. So hopefully I'll have some more videos out coming soon and I'll catch you whenever I make the next video. Thanks for watching.